Welcome back. This is By the Book, and we are Married Relationship Coaches. I'm Seth. I'm Seth. And today we're talking about Married at First Sight, Season 16, Episode 9, Moving On to Eris and Jasmine. Hmm. So, they've moved in. This is the week of housewarmings. Yeah. Um, I always like that. You know, it's like they're getting over the hump and kind of settling in and you're seeing where that chemistry is going. Unfortunately, mm. with them, there is no chemistry and it really kind of sucks, you know, to see that Jasmine has to repeatedly tell people, you know, like it's hurting me every time she's like, well, I'm attracted to him or he says it, you know, in front of her. Like she's really attracted to me. Yeah. And I'm not as attracted to her. Like, I don't know how many times she can take that. Yeah. You know, I I know she probably has solid self-esteem, but it's not guaranteed. Just because she's been, like, judged to be a pageant winner and things like that, it doesn't guarantee that she has really good self-esteem. I hope that she does. I hope that that's boosted her confidence. Because this situation seems like it could really tear it down. Mm. You know, so the other big thing with them uh, this week is the cousin is back, right? (laughs) The cousin is back. The cousin is wearing a tank top. So praise the Lord for that one. Um, Somehow her boobs are still sitting super low, but I'm not even going to address that. I'm just happy she didn't have on a tube top this time. Okay. So... Mm -hmm. Here's what was interesting, though, you know, and we had to watch this back. Stop laughing. We- <laughs> I'm so sorry, y'all. Apparently, you know, as we watched it, it was out of sequence. Yeah. Right. But when we watched it back after having seen everything, what happened was Eris and Jasmine had a conversation about their invitees, you know, who they're going to invite to yes. the housewarming, which Jasmine, I guess she wasn't fully forthcoming, but she did express her concerns about his cousin, Felina. Yeah. And sort of suggesting that she wasn't okay with her coming. Yeah. She didn't full out come and say that. After Eris left the apartment, she texted him mm-hmm. that she was uncomfortable with the cousin coming. However, Eris invites her anyway. He did. And he told her that later. But my issue with that is that I feel like in any relationship, you have to prioritize that person that you're in a relationship with enough to respect their comfort. So the conversation needed to be had in full, you know, as to whether she was going to be invited or she wasn't going to be invited. Hmm. Because fortunately, Felina said, no, I'm not coming. You know, she didn't want to support something that she didn't feel like uh, Eris was invested in. Mm -hmm. And she probably just doesn't like Jasmine, honestly. That's what I think it is. And she didn't want to be uncomfortable herself. So it didn't become a thing. But now imagine if Jasmine has already sent this text message to him. He goes and invites his cousin. And then she says, yeah, I'll be there. Yeah. Now. You got a problem. Yeah. She's Mm -hmm. going to feel disrespected. So. I already don't like Eris that much as a husband for her. And I'm disappointed, I guess, that he went ahead and did that. Do you have any, as a man, like justification or explanation as to why? Um, (laughs) There's a song, (laughs) a very old song that says something like nothing from nothing leaves nothing. And I think that's pretty much where he is. He doesn't have any feelings for her. Okay. Um, He is not attracted to her. He knows that she's feeling him and is wanting desire uh, and is is desiring uh, him to have feelings for her and and all and and to reciprocate, you know, and all of that. And so that big fat nothing that he has is, I think. That's where he's acting. You know, he's acting out. Like, uh, you know, I, I I don't I don't feel you like that. So, so you feel like he was deliberately being disrespectful to her, or on, just he on, doesn't on have the relationship skills? Because that's kind of what I got from him. Uh-huh. I feel like he's he's a completely inexperienced. 
I get that uh, too. person in relationship mm-hmm. dealings. Yeah. I don't think he really knows how, it, I don't know, where they'll like certain boundaries and, and uh, I don't know, like, like where you should lean. This is something I'm going to prioritize my spouse on yeah. type of thing. I don't, I don't think he has like those unspoken rules yeah. in his head. Uh-huh. And... So he's going to just go by how he feels in the moment. And he obviously loves his cousin yeah. and would like for her to be there and support him. Um, but he, he messed up. You know, that that was a huge misstep to me. And just very fortunate that she didn't come. But my bigger problem here is with Jasmine. Mm-hmm. Because when he told her that, she didn't address it and she never addresses anything Mm -hmm. and she doesn't seem to have the ability to like stand up for herself Mm -hmm. and somebody like him who she's already kind of (sighs) like lost all her leverage with with expressing her level of interest her level of attraction he's not there like everything the ball is fully in his court Mm -hmm. to do with whatever he wants to Mm -hmm. so if she's not going to even stand up for herself, he's going to run her over. And that's exactly what I meant. I mean, he doesn't have the feelings for her. He knows the ball is in his court. Mm-hmm. And so I'm inviting my cousin. What can you do to me? You know what I mean? Uh, if it was someone, yes, he doesn't have those that uh, type of relationship skills and savvy. He does not have that. Um, but if he had someone that he was really interested in, and he was really feeling, and she said, nah, I don't really don't want your cousin to come. He might raise a little bit of an eyebrow, but at the end of the day, he ain't inviting his cousin because he's interested in her. I wish we could see him in a situation like that. I can't yeah. even envision him. He doesn't seem like he puts himself in, himself in situations where he doesn't have the upper hand. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Yeah. So I, I can't imagine him having to go out of his way to sort of respect someone mm. because he probably doesn't not accustomed to dating someone who places demands on him. Hmm. Well, yeah, because again, he doesn't have that relationship experience. Mm-hmm. He's never been in love. He's never cared about anybody the way he probably should have at 39. And so, yeah. Yeah. Mm. It makes sense. <laughs> so, um, now, how about this? Mm-hmm. How about them talking about Jasmine having slept previously just with her four dogs in her bed? Now, usually I have an issue with certain things that yeah. Eric subjects to, uh-huh. but that's outrageous. That is outrageous. I mean, four? Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. And that's still a concern for him because even yeah. at the housewarming, that was something that he brought up with her friends, I think it was. Um, and I think that can be a huge hurdle for somebody who's not like an animal person Yeah, to be like, what is the expectation? Just taking care of one dog, in my opinion, is a lot, Yeah, you know, but having four and then not only just having four, but having four who you're breeding. So you're frequently cycling in puppies and trying to sell them and stuff like that. That's a lot. Well, she did say that she was doing that as a single lady. So no harm, no foul. But her now having a husband, uh, she's definitely open to not having the dogs in the bed. That's the way I, I kind of took what I, she said. I know, I, but I, I feel him judging her anyway. Mm-hmm. Remember how when they were talking about, do they wear shoes in the house? Yeah. And he was like, oh, you do that because you got dogs. That's what y'all do or yeah. something like that. Yeah, y'all, you know, it's y'all, like, y'all different. Yeah. He's like definitely judging her. Mm-hmm. Um, and I don't know. I, I feel like he may have an intolerance, honestly, yeah. for the dogs. And even if she's not going to breed them anymore, is she only going to keep one? Mm-hmm. Is she going to keep all four? It's a big deal still. It's it, it, it true. It's true. But he, he doesn't have any type of graces that he's going to give for her because he does not have any type of romantic feelings for her. Yeah. So he's going to order her around. This is my drawer. You get in where you fit <laughs> in, you know. I want no shoes in my house. And if Felina want to come, she going to come. And then we see that just kind of like rolling out. 
That's the way it is. Yeah. It's way on the highway because he doesn't have any feelings for this girl. He he could care less. Couldn't care less. Okay. So my last point. How did you feel about Jasmine talking to his friends about the attraction issue? Like she talked about like they're not having sex and stuff. And I felt like they were kind of just given looks. Mm-hmm. And I was reading that, or I was trying to read it and say, okay, are they saying like this is a bad sign? Or how did you as a as a guy look at the response? I didn't really read into that response. Okay. But if I'm sitting there and my dude is sitting there with, you know, his wife, mm-hmm. and the wife says, Oh, we're not having sex, and they go through the whole litany of why. Of uh, the well, she, this was a pro- she just had this conversation with his friend. Oh, he wasn't right. there. Oh, okay, mm-hmm. okay, me that. Okay, um, okay. If the wife is telling me, you know yeah. that, and then I'm just like, ooh, this thing, it's 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 pretty close to being over. <laughs> That's not over. Because of how he is? Because of how you think he, That's what I was trying to read. Mm-hmm. Like, are his boys saying, okay, we know Aries. Yeah. And if he's not... Yeah. Clapping the cheeks <laughs> now or whatever, like, uh-huh. it's definitely a problem. Yeah. Or is it just, like, in general? Uh, yeah, I, I think it's definitely a problem. And trust me, the friends, they already know. Whatever it what do you is, think so far? Yeah, yes, yeah. they they already know, and and if they didn't, I'm, what what is it? I mean, because some people say what well, her smile isn't is 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 pretty as mm-hmm. as it probably should be or whatever. Is it that? Is it the dogs? Is it her shape? What what is it? I think it's a combination of a lot mm-hmm. of things. Honestly, the more we watch, yeah. the more I just feel like it's like an overall just lack of physical attraction. Mm-hmm. And it does just doesn't seem like he's gonna get over it. I don't like that. I feel like Pastor Cal would still push them to, to have sex. <laughs> yes, he would. I, I and I don't like. I, I do. I definitely think he would. And it was funny because he he's not the one that did it this week. It was his cousin. It was Eris's mm-hmm. cousin when they were sitting down together. She's like, you know, go have sex with your wife. Yeah. And I'm like, stop doing this, y'all. You know, because if he's not feeling it, he's not going to be in it. He's not going to be committed to it. And ultimately, it's probably going to damage her more It'll damage in her the more. long run. Yeah. So, I don't know. Do you think... It, last question. Do mm-hmm. you think his cousin is ill-intentioned, though? Because, like, some of the things that she's saying, I don't think they're really bad advice. I think she rubs us the wrong way because she's very outspoken and opinionated. Yeah. Um, yeah. It, you know, she just has a tendency to be raw and, and make you feel a type of way about what she's saying. But I don't necessarily disagree with everything that she's saying. I think she's the way she is not with him because she knows him, mm-hmm. you know, and a lot of the predictions that she made is because... She knows him and they've been right. You know, yeah. she knows that, hey, you, you've never had a serious relationship. You've never lived with a person. You've never even been in love. And whoever they're going to have in front of you right about now, you're still incapable of loving somebody. So it doesn't even really matter. It's going to it's going to go down in flames. And this thing is going down in flames even faster than the eight weeks because <laughs> he is not open his heart is not open i mean it could be his complete 100 percent physical fantasy in front of him but to have a hardened heart it doesn't matter yeah you're gonna want to do what you're gonna do physically but after that's all and said he doesn't done, even want that from her it's over yeah so all right since we had a conversation already about dominique and mckinley and you know, not staying or staying because you're committed to the commitment, yeah. you know, whatever. If you're Jasmine in this situation and you recognize it for what it is, what are you supposed to do? Is is it fair game for her to walk away? 
I believe at, at this, this particular point, point, because like you said, she's been very reluctant to to open her mouth about some some of this some of this stuff so far. And so at this particular point, I think is all cards on the table. And let's just call a spade a spade and say what this 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 actual thing is. So it would be fair to you if she stopped at this two week mark. No, I think she has that <laughs> conversation. I didn't say that. I didn't say that. She made a commitment. Stay committed to the commitment, and you know. But with Pastor Cal or one of the other experts, I, I, I use that word reluctantly with them. But sitting down with them and then airing everything, you know, what is it that you don't like about me? And I'm gonna tell you exactly how you make me feel with this whole thing too, you know, and having that that genuine conversation. Once it's all out on the table, it may be something. It may that whole that whole truth conversation may be enough to to set a foundation where they can build off of. But the, to 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 proceed like this with your mouth closed and let the, him continue to have his way with it, absolutely not, absolutely not. But yes, continue with the commitment. You never know. You never know. Dude, next six weeks ain't gonna change nothing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, maybe they're convincing me. Maybe I'm just a cut and run. Like, look, girl, if it ain't working, rush out. I don't know. <laughs> anyway, guys, that's it on Jasmine and, and Aries. Let us know your thoughts. Please drop them below. Like, share, subscribe, and we'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.